So today I've got an August favourites video and I haven't done a favourites video in two months I think. Yeah, I think it's been two months. It was June. That feels like so long ago. So I'm going to jump straight in to avoid the long intro. The first thing that I've been loving this month is actually a hair product and I never normally feature hair products but this one is so good that I have to. So the only dry shampoo that I'd ever tried before this collab one was Batiste and I hated it because it really dried my scalp out and it made my scalp really itchy and I was like dry shampoo obviously just doesn't work on me. But then I got sent a big box of the Ruth Crilly collab ones and the other day I really didn't want to wash my hair so I was like do you know what I've got one of these in my cupboard I'll just try it out and I tried it out and it's honestly incredible it's so good so what I did was I put it in my hair the night before and then I slept with it in my hair and then in the morning I just ruffled it all up and honestly my hair looked so clean and it stayed clean for three days and my hair never does that like I have to wash it every other day but it literally stayed clean for three days it was incredible so now I'm obsessed with this stuff I don't have to wash my hair that much and it doesn't itch my head so if you have the same trouble with Batiste, definitely try this. The next thing that I've been loving is this Bondi Sands Tan. Now I actually full on slated this in a video because I used it one time and I moisturised before it and I didn't read the instructions and on the instructions it says don't moisturise but I did it because I don't read instructions and my tan went so patchy and in a vlog I was like this is the worst tan I've ever used blah 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 just like having a pop at it. And I really regret that now because when I was moving, I read the instructions this time and it says, ensure your skin is clean, exfoliated and free of any moisturizers. So I just stood there like, oh. <laughs> So Bondi Sands, if you saw me slating your tan, I'm very, very sorry because it's actually incredible. Stays on for so long. It goes a really, really dark colour. I've got it on today, which it might not look like it because I didn't put that much of it on today. But yeah, this is incredible and try it. If you haven't, just don't moisturise. So another hair product that I've been loving is this OGX conditioner. I've got this purple one and I don't actually like the scent of it. To me, it smells like lavender, which I hate. But this has made my hair so soft. I'm normally an Aussie girl through and through. I would just use Aussie constantly, but I ran out and I saw this in my beauty stash when I was packing. So I gave it a go and it makes my hair super soft. It's like on the same level as Aussie. I think this is more expensive though, so I would still go for Aussie, but yeah, I have been really enjoying this. Moving on to makeup. The first makeup product that I've been loving is this Kylie Jenner highlighter pot and it's in the shade Santorini. Now I've fully gone off the absolutely bam highlighter for every day. I just don't like it. I think it just looks like a streak on your cheek. So I've completely gone off that and I've started using the Dandelion Light from Benefit and it's so good. It gives the most subtle highlight ever but it's so pretty. It just makes you look really healthy. However, when I do want something that's a bit more bam, I go for this. I don't know if you can see it on my cheekbone, but it's so pretty. It gives you like a wet look highlighter and it actually doesn't look that unnatural because it is more of a wet look and less of a shimmery one. I'll give you a little swatch on my hand. You'll be amazed. Okay, so are you ready? Look! And then when you blend it out, It just goes into this really, really pretty highlighter and you can obviously blend it out more than that. So pretty, I love it so much. I wish she sold these separately because I think you can only get them in her holiday collection, the vacation one, which sucks because I would literally buy this on its own. There's another colour that I love called Fiji, which is a bit more like goldy, like rose goldy coloured. It's really pretty as well when it's on your cheeks. And the next thing that I've been loving is this Hoola contour stick. I didn't even know that they did a cream contour stick. I actually got sent this very kindly and I've been using it and it's the nicest shade. Like, let me show you. So see that on my hand? It's definitely not like really grey toned and I don't like grey toned contours. I feel like with my skin tone, they just don't look that nice. They look really muddy and ashy, but this, just blends out to a really, really gorgeous shade and obviously you can keep on blending. So on your face, it just looks really subtle. I'd say if you've got the same kind of skin tone as me, which is like a MAC NC20, definitely try this out because it's so good and it blends like such a dream, honestly. You put it on and it's just like, oh, 
On to a couple of nail polish that I've been loving. The first one is one that I've got on today and I swear I've mentioned this so many times, but it is the Sunlight Daylight Curing Nail Paint by Barry M and it's in the shade All The Things She Read. This is just a really nice hot red color. It matches my top perfectly. Emotional. This top was from Weekday. I'll try and link it if they have it, but I don't think they actually have it anymore. But yeah, this is so nice. I just put it on and it doesn't matter if my nails are short or not because it just looks fine either way. I feel like there are a lot of nail polish colours that don't look nice on me when my nails are short, but this one always does, so it's like my go-to one. And the next one that I love is this Nails Ink one and it's called Golden Lane. It's super bright yellow. I absolutely love yellow nail polish. I've just got this thing for it, like yellow and red nail polish at the minute are my absolute go-to. I just think they look so cool and you can wear a really monochrome outfit and have yellow nails and it just looks really like edgy. The last makeup item that I've been loving is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. This has kind of replaced my love for the Naked palette, but it's just got loads of like chocolatey shades in, obviously. I do wish that the highlighter shades were smaller and that they had like two more colors because I don't really wear the highlighter shades at all. But I do love this shade so much called Creme Brulee. It's a really pretty like muted gold. And I love Marzipan as well, which is above it. I just really like these sh the shades in this. I feel like if I went on holiday, this would be the palette that I would choose to take, so I thought I would mention it. On to kind of an accessory thing. These sunglasses I've had for ages. They're from Key Australia, but I've recently rediscovered them this month, and they look amazing with literally every single outfit. I could wear just a plain white top like this, and they look amazing, but they look so good, especially with the colour red. My camera literally just turned itself off on me. I was like... All right then. As I was saying, I feel like leopard print goes with a lot more than you would think it does, and I love the cat eye shape. I'm gonna put these on. These just look so cute, I love them. I don't know how they're looking on camera, and my eyelashes are literally sticking to them right now. I love these, and I'm gonna link the key website in the down bar if you guys wanna check theirs out, because they do really good sunglasses, like a lot of my sunglasses are from Key. I don't think you'll find these there anymore though, because I got them ages ago, but yeah, they always do really good frames. Obviously, I've been obsessed with so many different homeware items, but one that is new, that I've been loving, is this one, and it's a plant pot from Anthropology. It was 14 pounds, which is actually quite cheap for anthropology their prices are insane but it's so cute it's this marble pattern with gold flecks on it and it just looks so lovely and I can't wait to put a plant in it because I think it looks so nice kind of obsessed with this on to song favorites I've had two standout favorite songs for the last week or so and the first one has been Habana by Camila Cabello I love this song so much it reminds me of my new print that I've got like I feel like I should stand in front of that print and sing Havana. It's got like island vibes for me. It just transports you to an island somewhere with a cheeky margarita, a few coconuts here and there. It's just a really good song. If you want a really good feel good song, check that one out for sure. And my next favorite has been, oh, look what you made me do by Taylor Swift. I love it. I know it's such a Marmite song, so many people hate it. I've seen so much hate on the internet for it and I'm just like, guys, if you don't like it, just don't listen, simple. But I'm loving this song. I, I wasn't that keen on it the first time I listened, but the more I've listened to it, the more I absolutely love it and now I'm literally obsessed and I cannot wait for a Savage album to come out in November. I'm buzzing. On to a couple of TV favorites and then I will end this video there. My first TV favorite has been Shit's Creek. I watched this kind of a bit as a joke because I was like, what the hell? I, it kept coming up on my Netflix and I didn't understand the title. Why would you name a TV show Shit's Creek? <laughs> But as I started watching it, I just fell in love with the show. I love the characters. It's about this rich family who lose absolutely everything. And the only thing that they've got left is this town in America that the dad bought the son as a joke and it's called Shit's Creek. So they have to move there because it's like the only thing that they own. So it's really just about this rich family who have to adapt to living in kind of a poor town. It's just really good. I guess it's classed as a comedy. I don't find it that funny, but I don't normally laugh at comedies anyway. I don't know why, unless it's Peter Kay, I don't normally laugh at a TV program, but it's a really good TV program. It's good to just have on in the background, like Gossip Girl. Gossip Girl, 
I think personally is too boring to like fully watch it but it's a really good like in the background kind of program and that is the end of my August favourites let me know if you want me to carry on doing these in the comments and give this a thumbs up if you did enjoy it don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more vlogs and videos from me and I'll see you in my next one bye